Hello, this is Sebastian in the first episode of Automatic series. I'm gonna show you some interesting tips and tricks in automation on Mac OS X. I hope you like it. So today let's look into some music cleaning. This is often the case if you come from PC World and you have several MP3 files not described properly. <coughs> to import this to iTunes, believe me, you will need description. Uh, but of course uh, you don't need the, uh, this man manually. Mm, we have proper tools for that. And let's look in today's episode on very useful software from Music Brains called Picard. Okay, this is the main screen of the Picard. I will show you as you as you will see. There are two different panels, left and right. Uh, left panel is the source of for our files uh, we're gonna import. And on the right uh, we have some place for the results. Okay, uh, <coughs> so of course when you do some cleaning and you search for music uh, or you back up your CD into a more digital form, usually you don't have the tracks the described properly. So let's say I found this folder with music which descri description suggests um, this is some soundtrack from Babylon 5. However, when I look closer into this, I don't see the name of the tracks which is very inconvenient, but of course, uh, don't worry, we have proper tool for this. So let's do see how to correct this. It's basically very simple. All we need to do for now is drag and drop the folder to the left panel of Music Brain Speak Art. And as you see, in this example, the soundtrack was correctly recognized. Sometimes you may also fi find a proper cover art. This is not the case. We unfortunately may not download uh, the cover art uh, if we are in the Picard. We can do this later uh, in the iTunes. <coughs> okay, but first step was to correct, recognize the, the music here. What to what to uh, we should do no, uh, next? It's very simple. And before I save this result to a new file, let's look into the preferences. There are very um, few options to we can set up, but uh, first we should look about this. This is a window when we can uh, add our login information to Music Brains Org uh, service, uh, which uh, is very helpful because from this uh, service we can download some useful data to match our uh, unknown files. Uh, another <coughs> options uh, li useful options lies in the file naming uh, section. Make sure you should uh, correctly uh, check this out as I did. Uh, we can uh, force the program to delete empty directories, especially to the mo move files to the specific directory when we finish saving. Uh, I'm sitting now on the another machine, uh, not my main computer. Uh, on my main computer, usually I this, I use a folder um, when we automatically uh, can add songs to the iTunes. And of course, very useful this first option. Uh, thanks to it, uh, we could have uh, our songs properly renamed. Okay. So let's see if this works. Look on my directory below. Hmm? 
new directory appeared and look all tracks are correctly named okay another example sometimes we may find uh, a file that are not correctly downloaded or something or we are not sure let's say I have a folder with some tracks of Megadeth hmm, looks fine okay but let's check to be sure hmm. and you may find something weird we have two albums of the same name this is nothing wrong with this The program can show us where the cover art was properly found. We have it. But of course there is not a problem. If we have double, all we, <coughs> all we need to do is to check one album and drag and drop to another. But of course something that is not right. We see that some tracks are missing of course we may save the album but this may be uh, the clue for us um, maybe to buy additional songs on itunes or to check our source cd album to complete um, to complete uh, our recordings however usually also we are able to check other versions because which is very surprisingly um, many albums have different versions depend on country it was released and many other stuff and we could find a version with 12 tracks so as we can see there is not a problem okay I can finish this so again we see our music was correct recognized let's see if this is the case of course So, the second example, this was an <coughs> also success. And again, another last example. This time we have some albums which seems properly renamed, but to be sure and to have all tags correctly recognized, let's check. This time also cover art was found. Album from Prince. Okay, so maybe let's, before I save this file, let's uh, look about the upper menu. We, sh we see submit button, which is sometimes active and sometimes not. Um, this is because uh, every song has uh, some kind of fingerprint uh, that uh, Music Brains Org use. So their database uh, exists only thanks to users that use the program and they s and which they say send some additional data um, using this program to the <coughs> to their database. Mm, thanks to it. Uh, other users can properly recognize their songs and make some cleaning in the music library. So let's click submit and it's done. I can I don't need to because uh, this was um, submitted before. So okay. When you, you see the gold 
album it means it was correctly recognized but check also of these check marks so again and the format of the name was a bit changed but we may be sure that iTunes now correctly recognized all the tracks and we have no problem with importing this to the iTunes. As you see uh, Music Brains Picard is very useful utility, it's damn fast um, it should recognize most of your music collection if you have some problems especially if you lost some mp3 tags according to some failures or you have many collection many number of uh, undescribed music files for different <coughs> from different sources not exactly uh, from so from uh, iTunes music store uh, music brains can Picard can do some little cleaning in your files and you don't need this when you're ready so thanks for watching i hope you like it and some kind of uh, small automation with this uh, software may be very useful and see you another time and bye